what I want to talk to you guys quickly about is how to, well, is what I want to talk about is how to stay safe when traveling. Now, for this video, I will talk to you guys about some tips, uh, you know, about, you, you know, a tip about how to be safe when you're traveling to a different country, you know, and, 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 and I will get to that later soon, you know, uh, but first off, you know, one thing I have to say is that the, what I'm about to say in this video, this is just a personal, uh, tip of mine, you know, uh, when you travel to a different country, make sure that the people that you receive the information from the people of the country, the travel guides, um, <clears throat> because they are the ones who are the experts of the country. They know, know the country. Every country is different. Even if it's the same region, it, every country is different in its own way. Um, so that's just to really just get that out there. You know, this is just to help you in, in your everyday, uh, experiences when you're on your own just roam just being around the country so the first thing i want to say is that you want to be interested in your surroundings you know uh in your country in the country you're visiting to be honest with you and for the fact that you're in that country you must be interested in that country in some way you know pro probably um it, even if it was someone else's idea, you must have been somewhat interested in it to even want to go along, you know. Um, so that's what you want to do is you want to be interested in your surroundings. Like when you look at the surroundings of of the place you're visiting, uh, that is one way to stay interested in, in it, you know. Because if you, like for example, might go to maybe a place like uh, Cuba, Colombia, all of those different kinds of places, you might realize might realize how much different it is from your country of origin. You know, you might realize uh, like the houses are yellow in this country. You know, you might realize that the that the roof um, is different. And the thing is, that's one way to stay interested in something is to ask questions in your head. Why is it like this, you know? Um, why is the roof maybe in this country shaped like this? Why does it have lines going through it? You know, is it because uh, of the weather of this country? Um, you know, because I heard that this country, it, when it rains, it rains really badly. You know, um, could it be maybe the house is built that way just simply because, um, you know, because... It, to deal with the possibility of a tropical storm that might try to wreck it. Um, you know, you, you might focus on a specific house and you might focus on different houses as you're walking, you know. Um, some of them might be, you think might be landmarks. You might think that that's a house maybe possibly Cortez or one of his men stayed at. Just whatever. And as you look at those buildings you know, uh, <coughs> look at your surroundings, the more and more it's likely you will know where you are, where you are going to, and when you go to that place, where to come back. Because it might turn out if you get lost, that yellow building with that roof you, you were looking at, you were so interested in, you know, and of course this is when you should be walking with the group. You should be looking around, you know, um, at these sorts of things, but it's at the same time being alert when you're walking around other people and not bump into other people and stuff. Um, and, and that picture, you know, and that might help you go back to the hotel, you know, because sometimes people get lost, you know, um, and stuff. Another example is to pay attention to the people you, you you are surrounded by like look at the locals maybe look at how they dress you know you know and, and just see and just be interested in how they are um 
as a people, um, because I'm, because I'm pretty sure you can find something interesting, uh, about them. Of course, every country is different in its own way, you know, um, you, you, you'll probably, you'll probably find, wonder a lot of questions, you know, about these, uh, locals of this country, um, you know, why, why they are the way they are, you know, for one, you know, to give a good example, you might see there's a local in that area and cutting fish, you know, uh, he looks like a pretty tough guy, you know, like, or I should have said rough, uh, like, yeah, tough and rough, uh, he looks like a rough guy, like, he just, like, you know, I guess you could say stereotypical Latino, um, rough, macho, macho looking man, like, with, uh, you know, with, like, uh, smoker pimples or something, you know, pimples all over his face, you know, and all of that sort of stuff, um, you know, and, and, and this could apply to all over the world, um, it doesn't just have to, you know, all these tips don't just have to apply to just Latin America, you know, you might notice those sorts of things about him, and you realize, you know, you know, there's something really not right with this guy, you know, he, it seems the locals are, are a bit scared of him. You can notice by their reaction, you know, um, their react, you know, that they seem to be scared. And they, at the same time, they also seem to be talking about him, you know, whispering and gossiping about him. And he also has a scar on the side of his face. Some people might just walk past in like, uh, in like a minute or something and not even realize this fact. But you just looked at him, and you realized <clears throat> there's something different about this guy, you know. And, and this is a country that might be known for having a huge amount of gang problems, you know. He might have been a member of, of MS-13. So maybe it's kind of a good idea, you know, uh, to stay away from him. You, you you don't know what's really going on in that shop, um, that shop, to be honest with you, um, uh... You, you, like you don't know these things, man. They, he could he could just be cutting up the, the fish uh, to practice, possibly cutting up uh, people, or maybe cutting up the fish to put drugs in it or something. You know, he claimed he turned his life around, but you don't know. The the locals might know that he he really hasn't. You know, from what word or is going on around. You know, so these are just things you just have to notice to stay safe. Um. Uh, and also to help spark, uh, the interest, maybe it's kind of best you just talk to other people. Of course, you don't talk about other people, you know, gossip to other people. Even if you're speaking English, you don't know if that person speaking in English, knows English. Um, it's best when you talk with, um, with other people, you know, if, if you ever are, are kind of wary of the kind of people that you're around, you, of course... This is just common courtesy. You just kind of um, speak lore like, yo, I don't think we should really trust that guy. And just in general, talk about the surroundings area, you know, talk about the trees, you know, the forests, how beautiful they are, you know, um, you know, the scenery, uh, talk about the history of the nation and all that sort of stuff. And through that process, you... <coughs> will learn more and more um, about the country, uh, you know, and, and it'll help your visit uh, be better, you know, because that per your person you might talk to might know things you might not know, and they might not know th and things that you know. So you'll just have a dialogue, and it'll just be make room for something interesting to talk about, you know, and, and you'll explore things, and notice things other people might have not noticed like you might have saw a rate a rare endangered um species in the country you know um and a person around you might have told you an interesting fact about that creature you know um <clears throat> that you never knew so not only are you enjoying yourself you're paying attention to your surroundings you're also not having to worry about getting uh getting into danger you know, in any possible way, because you're, because you're alert, um, so, honestly, 
in conclusion, you know, uh, the truth is, is that this is just an experience, uh, that's happening, uh, this is just to learn, it is that you should learn from the guides about the country, you should also learn, uh, use your own common intuition, your own common sense, because they, they can't tell you every and anything, you know, uh, about it, and just in general, just make your vacation better. You'll have a lot of ex, not just have experiences you've had with, with uh, uh, the people around you. You'll have a lot of of great stories to tell when you get back uh, to your home country. And that's my video, and that's all I have to say.